Hi, I'm Mark Pope, and this is the story of my life. Chapter one, my childhood. I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and I was six months old, moved to New York. Once a year, my dad would take me into the city where he worked, and he worked in a huge office building, and we would go explore the city. We would get uh, dollar hot dogs at lunch and, and kind of get the tour of the joint. It, it's been a long time since anybody wanted to watch me shoot, actually. Do you want me to talk some smack? If I, could, if I can make some? Chapter two, high school. I went to high school in Seattle at Newport High School, home of the Newport Knights. My high school basketball experience was one of the great experiences of my life. I had an unbelievable coach named Rich Belcher. He was as close to a second father to me as you could imagine. Do I have a hidden talent? Just in the hopes that Lin-Manuel, that you're watching. I'm gonna get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dad got amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. I gotta holler just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge, I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal, everybody. Oh, okay. Chapter three, college career. How did your first two seasons at Washington help your basketball career? They were hard. I went to the University of Washington with big dreams. I went to play there for a coach who was an old, ornery, former FBI agent who worked in the narcotics unit. I mean, he was a tough dude, Lynn Nance, and I loved him. We couldn't win enough, win enough games, and coach ended up getting fired two years in, so it was pretty tough. Probably the thing, without doubt, that means the most to me in college uh, was being a part of a team that won a national championship. I have a relationship with those, with those guys on that team that I don't have with anybody else in the world, and it's the best part of athletics is these relationships that we get to build. When I was in college, we were studying all kind of, uh, I was an English major. You know, we were, we were searching for truth, you don't want to hear about circle theory. Chapter four, professional career. Draft night was a curious experience for me. I had no idea if I would get drafted. Finally, I think it was 52nd pick at 58 in the second round. Uh, I got selected by the Indiana Pacers. That began the odyssey, which was to be my professional basketball career. I played for the Indiana Pacers till Larry Bird fired me. Then I played for the Milwaukee Bucks till George Carl fired me. Then I played for the New York Knicks till Don Chaney fired me. And I played for the Denver Nuggets till George Carl fired me again. George, I'll never forgive you. Which current NBA player would I most compare myself to? There is nobody in the NBA currently today that is as bad a player as I was. The Bucks in the playoffs. This has been the greatest thing ever, okay? that the Bucks finally made it back to the Eastern Conference Finals because I played on the Bucks in 2001, which is the last time we went back. Do you still have your shot? Uh, I, I, can, I can shoot it just a little bit. There's a, there's a secret, there's one secret to making shots. I was with Reggie Miller for two years. I was with Ray Allen for two years. I played for Larry Bird. Being with those guys, you know that there's a secret to making shots. The problem is I have no idea what that secret is. Chapter five, coaching career. My most memorable moment with Coach Dave Rose, first of all, it might have been the first time that I ever met him and sat down and talked to him. We were actually on the road recruiting in the summer and I was coaching at Wake Forest. And um, I got to sit with Coach for 15 minutes and he was so generous uh, in, in having a conversation. And that became a relationship that I really, really treasure to this day. He's, he's one of my great mentors in this game and, and what he did at BYU is historic. My most memorable accomplishment from my time at, at UVU, the thing that sticks with me the most is just what these young men were able to accomplish in the span of four years. Watching them grow, watching them move on and be pros, uh, that was the most rewarding part of the deal. What do I hope to accomplish here at BYU? I want to win huge. Um, I want to accomplish things that this story program has not yet accomplished. Of course, those are the e easy things to say, but what I really want to do here is I want young men to come through this program and leave here as different human beings, better human beings uh, than when they came in. It's a great honor and privilege, and it's, it's something I love more than just about anything else in life. That's, that's my story.